I may be wrong, but it's highly unlikely. Thanks for joining me again on one of my cases of fish diseases. And today it's about the clown loads. Yes, I use my microscope and I try not to be wrong. I try to find the real causes of the diseases of our fish and a microscope that helps me to detect. So I'll show it in my PowerPoint. That is Bocia macrocanta or Chroma Bocia macrocanta is very skinny due to worm infection. You can find more details on prevention, on diagnosis and the use of correct medications of fish diseases in my books available in different languages. Here we see the skinny clown loach. He's still alive. He's hardly moving. He's wasting away. Well, this fish looks like it's going to die. So it's a perfect example of a fish we have to take out for examination. Here we see it again. We also see some other clown loaches that are becoming skinny. And they will be the next ones who will waste away and will die. So it's for you now the time to start examining the fish. And we found internally lots of worms, encapsulated worms, mostly it looked like nematode, round worms, that were encapsulated and affecting the organs, affecting the internal organs of the fish and of course weakening the fish and also make it uh, the fish susceptible to bacterial infections as a secondary infection. Here we see the kidney that was also in bad shape. You see the bleeding areas. Uh, you see the, the little tubes that are not well open and are dirty, you can say, they are clogged up. So the kidneys were not functioning normal anymore to show already one organ that was in bad shape. So what can you do as a treatment for this clown bocia? Well, for some fish like this one, it's too late, but you can think about helping the other fish in the aquarium. They're coming from the wild. So this could be a severe infection that can come with the fish. This fish, I would recommend, and also the other ones which are getting very skinny and weak, is better to put gently asleep with euthanasia. You can help the healthy fish with a functional fish food that helps the fish to repair. And in this case, we could recommend or Dr. Baslier buy fish food forte or pumpkin seed extract. More details on diagnosis, prevention and treatment of fish diseases available in my books. The link is below. Or you can get a specialized fish doctoring training and more information at my Patreon channel. So I hoped that I was not wrong. I can be wrong, but it's highly unlikely. Thank you for watching this video and to become more specialized in fish diseases.